If you were trying to explain a concept to your cat, you'd need to tailor your message to your audience and keep the content very simple. So then, why is it that we, as smart humans, often forget this rule as we try to explain data and business concepts to other humans? Let's look at three quick and simple fixes that you can use today to help you tailor your data visualization message to your audience. For clearer charts, use the 321 principle. The three of the 321 principle is the most important rule that you need to remember. You only have three seconds to grab someone's attention. This applies whether your audience is a human or a cat. If you and your slide haven't made your point within those first three seconds, you really risk losing the focus of your audience. Let's take the example where you want to show the difference between data values and the performance of three solutions for improvement. Say, for three new cat food flavors as compared to the current flavor. Most of us would show all the data and expect that our viewer would easily see the differences. But in this case, all the data isn't relevant. It's the differences that we care about and want the viewer to care about also. Keep in mind that your chart doesn't need to start at zero. A good first step would be to zoom in on the differences in the data, what's relevant. Here's the zoomed in data range, and it's represented quite effectively using a type of visualization called a lollipop chart. But what if you could simplify your visualization even further using a dumbbell plot and incorporate the current process point as the base for each of the solution visualizations? Now, a quick three second glance will show your audience that solution C offers the biggest improvement. Keeping the three second rule in mind ensures that you don't lose your audience before your point is made. This leads us to two. Think of your presentation as having two parts, the graph and the title. Does your headline, the title, call out exactly what you're trying to say? I've heard many people say that the data speaks for itself, but nothing could be further from the truth. You need to speak for the data and ensure that your chart title also tells the story. For example, rather than a title of annual cat food sales, if the ultimate message that you're trying to convey is that there was a jump of cat food sales during the COVID pandemic, then a better title would be cat food sales leap in pandemic. Don't be afraid to make a bold statement about the data in the title. Unfortunately, we do this all the time. We miss the opportunity to capture the audience's attention through the title. Here's what happens. People glance at your presentation slide and immediately start running questions through their head like, what's this talking about? What's the point? Is this relevant to me? Why should I care? And what's in it for me? The title needs to lead the audience to answer those questions. Help the data speak its message. Finally, the one of the three to one principle. There's likely one best visualization or chart type that will tell your data story in a way that's clearest and most succinct. The tricky part is finding the one that's the best fit. For example, two lines on a chart make it easy to see their trend, but a dumbbell chart makes it easy to see the differences between the lines. A waterfall chart is great for showing the steps of changes getting from data point A to data point B. And a scatter plot is perfect when you're looking for relationships or correlations. Try to learn all of the different types of charts available to you, with preferences given to keeping your message simple. Just because you can use an exploding pie chart doesn't mean that you should. Broadening your knowledge of different chart types and having your toolbox filled with these different choices will make it easy to choose the best way to tell your data story. Whether a colleague, a client, or a cat, use the 321 principle to make crystal clear graphs that your audience will love. For lots more information and so many other topics on how to become a data visualization superstar, visit stephanieevergreen.com. What about how my cat taught me about data visualization? <laughs> yeah, okay. Or what about like three, two, one to better charts, even your cat will get it. Love it. Okay, let's do it.